15 seconds. Falcon 9 is configured for flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and liftoff. Pitching downrange. M1D chamber pressures are on level. Forty seconds into flight, Falcon 9 successfully lifting off from pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, nominal. carrying those 60 Starlink satellites into orbit, this particular booster lighting up the Florida coast for a seventh time. Now, uh, we just began throttling down those Merlin 1D engines for maximum dynamic pressure, or max Q. That's the point when the stresses on the vehicle are the highest from the combination of the vehicle speed and the density of the atmosphere. Max Q. And now that we're through the point of maximum dynamic pressure, the loads on the vehicle, the structural loads, are going to drop off as the density of the atmosphere continues to decrease. And Falcon 9 continuing to speed up. We're about a minute away from three events. First of those is main engine cutoff, or MECO. That's where we'll shut off those nine Merlin 1D engines. You can actually see the plume expanding from them on your, on your camera. We and shut those down. Back engine chill started. In preparation for stage separation, that's where the first and second stages will separate from each other. First stage continuing on a parabolic arc to make its way back to the drone ship, while the second stage continues on to the third event, second engine start number one. We actually just heard the call out there for uh, MVAC chill in beginning. So during that third event, second engine start one, we'll ignite the Merlin vacuum engine that'll propel the second stage along with the Starlink satellites into an elliptical orbit. And we chill in those turbo pumps with uh, liquid oxygen just to get them ready for ignition. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Left hand side of your screen. Back ignition. First stage separating, second stage ignition. Love that green glow from the T-TAB ignition. Both vehicles back on their way. Coming up shortly, we'll expect to see fairing deployment off of the second stage. Look for that on the right hand side of your screen. Fairing separation confirmed. Beautiful shot there of those Starlink satellites. Finally getting to see space directly. We, uh, now that we're outside of the atmosphere, the, we don't need those fairing halves anymore, so we'll jettison back to Earth to recover them. As a reminder, we do have a recovery ship, Miss Chief and Ghost Searcher, waiting at the Atlantic to scoop up both of those fairing halves. <laughs> 